Hey, it's The Rich Life, I'm your host Michaela, and today we are talking about Dakota Johnson, so let's get started. Dakota Maie Johnson is an American actress and fashion model. She was born in Austin, Texas, and is the daughter of actors Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith. Her maternal grandmother is also an actress named Tibby Hendren. She has six half-siblings named Bauer, Stella, Jessie, Grace, and her last two are both named Johnson. She attended the New Road School in Santa Monica, California for three years. When she was asked why she wanted to be an actress, she said, quote, I felt so much when I was 15, 16, 17. I felt everything. I didn't understand understand myself. I was so happy yet so angry and sad. That was the point when I realized when I needed to tell stories and make characters come alive and I needed to make people cry and make people angry and make people happy and make them laugh. In 1999 she made her film debut in Crazy in Alabama where she and her half sister Stella played the daughters of their real life mother Melanie. But her family wouldn't let her act again until several years later after she graduated from high school. The film was even directed by her stepfather Antonio. But it wasn't a hit. Dakota resumed her schooling and waited several years before she decided to become a professional actress and model. In 2006, she was voted Miss Golden Globe, a launching pad bestowed on offspring of famous parents. She served as the first second generation Miss Golden Globe in the Globe's history since her mother was Miss Golden Globe in 1975. She also signed with IMG Models, which majority of people seem to sign with in California. In 2009, she modeled for Mango Brand's jeans line. Dakota then traveled to Sydney, Australia, where she then shot Rising Star campaign for fashion label Wish. Once she graduated from high school, she signed with the William Morris Agency and started her acting career. She had her first box office hit in 2009. 2010 with David Fitcher's film The Social Network, which also starred Andrew Garfield. She also had a scene with Justin Timberlake. The film received eight Oscar nominations, including one for Best Picture. She also took down her Facebook profile because she didn't like being on it, even though she acted on The Social Network, which is about Facebook. In the audio commentary for the DVD release of the movie, director David said that Dakota was wonderful in a pretty thankless role. She also appeared in three additional films, Beastly alongside Vanessa Hudgens and Mary-Kate Olsen, and So Young Kim's film for Ellen. She had her roles in several 2012 films as well, like Christopher Neal's film Goats, Nicholas Stoller's film The Five Year Engagement, and the hit feature film version of the 1987 television show 21 Jump Street that made Johnny Depp a star. She also won the female lead in Chris Nelson's film Date to Switch, written by Alan Yang. Her first television show Ben and Kate, where she played Kate, aired on Fox during the fall 2012 season. It was then cancelled in 2013, and she quickly resumed her feature film career with three high profile films, Need for Speed, Symbol in the modern day adaptation of the William Shakespeare play of the same name, and the starring role of Anastasia Steele in Fifty Shades of Grey in 2015, the adaptation of the best-selling novel Fifty Shades of Grey. She beat out so many young actresses for the role of Anastasia, and the film became a worldwide hit, making her a star. When she advanced to screen testing, she reenacted the first and last chapters of the book with co-star Jamie. She also started an exercise routine to prepare for Fifty Shades of Grey, but not just because she wanted to look good on screen. She wanted Anastasia to have the appearance of an average active college student. She had to apply body makeup to cover up her tattoos for Fifty Shades of Grey. However, her tattoo are visible on every other project and photo shoot she has done. She reportedly beat out Elizabeth Olsen, Shailene Woodley, Lucy Hale, Chloe Bridges, Felicity Jones, Kristen Stewart, and her Need for Speed co-star Imogen Potts to land the role of Anastasia in the film. And she did not use a body double for any scenes in Fifty Shades of Grey, except for one explicit scene involving her character Anastasia being whipped with a belt. Johnson did not want to participate in the scene to avoid personal injury and to avoid her body being marked in any way. Whenever she is truly laughing, she cries. She has stated that it has become a nuisance on film sets because she has to constantly have her makeup touched up in between takes. She also said she took several pairs of underwear from the set and said that the underwear was too comfortable to leave behind. She won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Dramatic Movie Actress for Fifty Shades of Grey and she continued to seek challenging roles, such as a young mother who loses her son in Black Mass opposite her 21 Jump Street castmate Johnny Depp and of a temptress in A Bigger Splash. She has balanced her dramatic career by doing comedies as well, such as How to Be Single in 2016. She was also on Fifty Shades Darker and Fifty Shades Freed as well. It was said that she did not that she was in a 30-day rehab program at the Visions Teen Treatment Center in Malibu, California for drug and alcohol addiction in September 2007. She said that the press misinterpreted the fact that she was in therapy as a teenager because of some issues with her parents who have both battled substance abuse. She stated that she never casually dated men and always had a long-term relationship with her significant others. Dakota has been linked to one of the lead singers of Coldplay since at least October 2017. While his former relationship was relatively public, Chris and Dakota are notoriously low profile and have yet to walk the red carpet together. They have a rumored months long split in 2019, yet even that's impossible to confirm since the pair is so private. According to photos shared on social media, Johnson and Cara Delevingne spent plenty of time together in 2015 and 2016, and were even spotted hanging out with friends Taylor Swift and Zoe Kravitz. Whether the pair were actually official is unknown, but it's likely that they were a couple. Matt Hitt and Dakota began dating in September of 2014, before splitting for a time in early 2015. The on-again off-again pair decided to get back together again sometime that year until they officially called it quits in 2016. Another one of Dakota's rumored relationships 
relationship is with actor Jordan Masterson, aka half brother of that 70s show star Danny Masterson. The now 34 year old reportedly dated Dakota sometime in 2013, though it's unclear when the pair split. Hands down, one of Dakota's longest relationships was with musician Noah Gersh. According to multiple sources, the 50 Shades franchise actress began dating Noah when she was either 16 or 17 in high school. She is also an animal rights activist and saved 12 horses from being killed in 2014 by paying for them. She also became friends with Apatow's wife, Leslie Mann, when they worked together in the film How to Be Single. In fact, it was Leslie who presented Dakota with both of the Calvin Klein Spotlight Award in 2015 and the People's Choice Award in 2016. In 2016, she said that she regretted getting most of her tattoos because it takes a long time to cover them up for her movie roles. The only tattoo that she doesn't regret is a quote from Aldous Huxley's Island that reads, Lightly My Darling, inked in white, which matches the one her half-sister Stella has too. She dropped to the film Under the Silver Lake in 2018 because of scheduling conflicts, and her role went to her close friend Riley, to whom she had coincidentally been a bridesmaid for at Riley's wedding to Ben Smith Peterson in 2015. Dakota deleted her private social media Instagram account and stopped posting pictures on her public account due to negative comments from the internet trolls. Dakota has never been public about her political views. However, at the February 2017 Academy Awards ceremony, she and Academy Award winner Emma Stone wore pins showing their support for Planned Parenthood in protest of President Donald Trump and other Republicans who vowed to defund Planned Parenthood. In 2018, she said that she's never met Trump but is wary of his policies. With her Razzie Award win for Worst Actress for Fifty Shades of Grey in 2016, she became a second generation Worst Actress winner, as her mother Melanie won Worst Actress in 1993 for both Shining Through and A Stranger Among Us. Dakota is one of the original singers of the Time's Up movement and she donated money to the Legal Defense Fund that she started in 2017 to help survivors of sexual assault, harassment, and inequality in the workplace. She showed up to a 2018 Global Citizen Festival and told women and girls to call her and share their stories about how they suffered by being second class citizens because she will listen and amplify their voices. In 2020, she became the first female director in her family when she co-directed with Corey Bailey for the music video to Coldplay's song Cry Cry Cry, featuring her paramour Chris Martin. She's also worked with controversial celebrities such as Kevin Spacey, Army Hammer, Casey Affleck, and Shia LaBeouf, who faced certain allegations, but Dakota defended them by saying that she had an incredible time working with them. Her net worth is $14 million and she reportedly made $250,000 plus bonuses tied to the box office for just Fifty Shades of Grey alone. Imagine how much she made from the other two movies. She also owns a Bentley Continental for $200,000, a Porsche 911 Carrera for $97,000, an Audi SQ5 for $51,000, a classic Mustang GT350 for $140,000, a Ford F-150 for $56,000, and a Mercedes E-Class for $55,000. She also reportedly moved in with her boyfriend Chris Martin into a $12.5 million mansion in Malibu. The huge home has six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a game room, and a spa. And that's everything on Dakota Johnson. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.